Just about uh, eight years ago, we just uh, have a bright uh, beginning for the collaboration between the two parts, the School of Architecture, Tsinghua University, and uh, Polytechnic Toledo, DAD. I believe this kind of the collaboration is very, very significant, not only for academic collaboration with the other, but also for the cultural exchange and professional practice such as 2022 Olympic Winter Game. Um, tomorrow we are going to have a workshop um, for the collaborative studio between Tsinghua and Polito. Um, very interesting topic indeed about Winter Olympics because Turin was the host city of 2006 and Beijing of course is going to host. Um, the Olympics in 2022. And the Winter Games are truly new to all the Beijing Earth, so we are really looking forward to expertise from Turin, particularly in alpine and snow sports. And this studio, this collaborative research studio, is also about the possible sustainable strategies for Winter Games something truly needed in Beijing. The opportunity to cooperate on the issue of Olympic Games, of Winter Olympic Games with Tsinghua University originated last year, where with um, 10 students of our school and some colleagues, namely Professor Gustavo Ambrosini, we visited the sites of the future Olympic Games in Beijing and the mountains around Beijing. Then our students produced, together with the Chinese students, some projects for the Olympic villages in, in Beijing. And after that, since the results were very good, together with the colleagues of Tsinghua, we decided to open this uh, exchange to the real Olympic committees. Being uh, Zhang Li, the professor from Tsinghua, the consultant of the uh, committee for uh, urban planning issues. I think it's very important in uh, this cooperation is that Chinese uh, representatives are not only interested in the games themselves, but they need to urbanize a wide area of mountains region all around Beijing. This is a master plan to make bigger the urban region of the capital. So they don't look only at the event itself, but to the fact that Torino and the Alps started to urbanize mountains more than 100 years ago, being one of the first examples of tourism and the local economy in the mountains. I know the, both the professor from Tsinghua and the people from the committees are very interested from what they can find in Torino. For example, Politecnico opened a very important institution, the Instituto di Architettura Montana, the so-called EAM, just devoted to the study of uh, sustainable settlement in the mountains. So such kind of experiences uh, are very attractive for the Chinese colleagues that are looking for new models of development in the mountain sites.